and welcome. So, um, five, tip really, action. I know it. I'm, act I'm, I'm actioning. Yes, Lancelot Imaswen is a Nigerian film director. That was action, right? Mm -hmm. Alero. Oh. That, you see, that you're supposed to, you see, you're reading, right? You're presenting the news. So, I'm now Lancelot Imaswen is a Nigerian film director. That's how you're supposed to deliver it. That's action. That's how you're supposed to deliver it. I'm sorry. I'm the director, so <laughs> you, I'm telling you how to go about it. Get okay. into character. Okay, count, count again. Five, four, three. Tape rolling, action. Lancelot Imaswen is a Nigerian film director. Now, do you believe that? If you do believe that, then we can bring Lancelot. If you don't, then we're not. <laughs> Lancelot, why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> if we go on like that, then um, you're going to spend, um, you know, we work on the shoestring budget. Yeah. So if you, if Alera takes time to respond because she's like, not getting like, into like, character. Like, uh, like that. To get into character. Uh, you may need uh, $2 million to make just one film. No, I would, have, I would have rehearsed before <laughs> that now. I would have rehearsed. <laughs> It's good to oh, have you here. Beautiful. <laughs> Welcome. Good to see you. Bless good to you see well. you. Thank you so much. Welcome. A name that we all know, but mm. we hardly ever see the face. Mm. You put everybody out there, but you go and hide. Uh, we want to plan? start here. We want to, like we are here now. Uh, I'm Lancelot to do I must wear. <laughs> okay. His success in the movie industry did not come by accident. Let me read out some things. He will gladly tell you that. He believes strongly in the maxim, experience is the best teacher. His experience acquired over several years of sustained, sustained practice in the performing arts have served him well. Now, see this. In a 2008 Canadian documentary, Nollywood Babylon, co-directed by Ben Adelman and Samir Malal and produced by AM Pictures, da 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 Five. Five hundred. <laughs> five. No, number five. Oh, he goes, he, he's going backwards. When, 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 I, when I marked 20 years behind the camera three years ago, um, we now decide to start recounting. He just pick up some works and say, okay, fine. I mean, yesterday, the film that shot me to limelight. And when I got in here, I just thought about, okay, I'm going to celebrate that film yesterday. Uh, we call it the, the, the social cultural gang up against the woman of Africa. Uh, it was a film that actually brought me to national and international limelight. That was 1997. And uh, I just feel, yes, I should celebrate that film. <laughs> so after then, we started recounting. You think of movies like Isakaba that mm. was broke all records as far as uh, film says in Nigeria was concerned. Then you look at Last Barrier. Then um, in terms of what we call glamour films today, you look at a film like... Um, 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 games women play. Games women play. That was a oh, Hold on, hold on. Play. Which one is this one? This is Invasion 1897. Invasion 1897. My own. Um, it was shot. Your own take of it. Uh, it was shot in, in in Benin City and in London. It was. Uh, we were trying to tell, from our point of view, for the first time, when you talk about the the, the Benin massacre uh, of uh, 1897. When uh, all those artworks were cut away. When were cut away, mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. nobody had given us time to express ourselves, to also say the story from our point of view. So this was my answer to that project, um, uh, Invasion 1897, that challenged the status quo as it was then. And uh, we successfully had this movie premiered inside the British Museum. <laughs> It Ooh, was, what an <laughs> irony. Yeah, and um, uh, after the film, people could just go down to see what, what was cutted away. About. Yeah, <laughs> and my, my but point... But some, some have been returned now, haven't they? Yes, there are, there are a huge clamor for it right now. Mm. The state government now and the Palace of the Oba of Benin, they're mm. trying to build a world-class royal museum.
Because the argument has been, okay, if we mm. return this stuff, where are you guys going to keep, the, uh, keep it? We come to museums in Nigeria, they are not well kept, they are not well structured. Mm. So the government of Edo State right now and the, the His Royal Majesty of Monobane Du Kwa Polo Polo by uh, LY II, has said they are building a world-class museum mm. that will not say, okay, fine, we can house this stuff, they are going to be safe, and they have uh, a place good enough to store them. But okay. for me, it wasn't about the, 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 the artworks being returned. Mm. I was looking at the economic um, attachment to it. From 1897 to now, we're talking about uh, 117 years mm. or more uh, that these guys had had this work in several museums around the world, in Germany, in, 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 in Britain, in, in, in Washington, D.C., and several other places around mm. the world. Now, assume that every person that's coming to see in London alone, uh, the museum in London that's come to see those artwork pay one pound for a hundred years. How much have we lost? And for us here, the lesson for us here, okay, they took the art, but they didn't take the craft. True. Mm. The craft is still with us. Yeah. What have we been able to do? In Goon Street. In Goon Street. <laughs> what have we been able to do to that place? that produced those works, 3,224 pieces of them that were carted away as points of, wars, of war in 1897. What have we been able to do with the talent that is still loitering on the street that is still um, uh, abounds in those streets? And as we speak to the Igun, several other places within Bini, mm. the craft is, is, is hereditary. It's been there. What have we been able to do? So these were the two poses I raised for the, through this film, Invasion 1897. Okay, okay. Lancelot, um, let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> you said that your success is not an accident. And uh, you believe that experience is the teacher. Right. Where did you start from? Well, um, art is my life. And for the seven, I spent 35 years actively in the art. I've never done any other thing. I've worked in several media houses, radio, television, from the then, Bender Broadcasting Service, mm -hmm. uh, Hotel de Jordan, all of this. Even as a little kid, uh, I started my appearance on television when I was yet in secondary school, um, the, the church. And uh, so for me, if you give me another task to do, it may be difficult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, so, did you, what did you study? I studied theater arts. Theater at the University of uh, Port Harcourt. Uh, got a professional certificate in theater arts from the University of Port Harcourt. Okay. 